every year, October 14 is celebrated as World Standards Day. The International Standards Organization sets a theme for that day, and this year is no different. The theme for this year is standards level the playing field. What basically that means is that everyone implementing standards starts from the same point and operates by the same rules. So generally for business it means that we are all operating on the same playing field. Let us look at the aims of standardization to see how we operate on a level playing field. Let's take the first one, fitness for purpose. Fitness for purpose is the ability of the process, product, or service to fulfill a defined purpose under specific conditions. Any product, process, or service is intended to meet the needs of the end user, although the expectations of the end user might be at variance to the purpose of that process, product, or service. So standards help by identifying the optimum parameters for the performance of a process, product, or service. Example, a product standard. Interchangeability. The suitability for a process, product, or service to be used in place of another to fulfill a relevant requirement is called interchangeability. So, through a deliberate standardization process, it is possible to make processes, products, or services interchangeable even if they are created in different countries. Example, shaving blades of different brands may be designed to be used in the same razor, typical example. Variety reduction. It is properly, popularly believed that variety is the spice of life. While a large number of varieties for a particular process, product or service may be helpful to the consumer and enable them to select the most appropriate, this large number of varieties requires large inventories resulting in high cost to the manufacturer or producer. And of course, ultimately, that high cost will be passed on to the consumer. So if the manufacturer or producer can control the variety of stock that he keeps, it means that he could control the cost of the product and it will redound to a cheaper product at the end of the day for the end user. Compatibility. Parallel developments of processes, products and services which are required to be used in combination pose problems if they are not compatible. One of the aims of standardization is compatibility, namely suitability of processes, products or services to be used together under specific conditions to fulfill the relevant requirements without causing unnecessary interaction. Better utilization of resources. Achievement of maximum overall economy through better utilization resources such as capital, human effort, and materials is an important aim of standardization. In manufacturing organizations, it is as this aspect of standardization of materials, components, and production methods that makes it possible to reduce waste and to carry out mass production in an economic way. Economic way. For example, in the construction and civil engineering field, the use of appropriate quantities of cement and steel to achieve a required strength are recommended in building standards and codes of practice. Better communication and understanding. Whenever the transfer of goods and services is involved, standards spell out what means of communication are to be used between different parties. Since standards contain information that is recorded in a process and document form, they contribute towards better communication and understanding. In a large variety of settings, in public policies, public, public places such as airports, railway stations, and highways, for instance, standard signs play an 
pots of drool. So when you as a user see a sign, a stop sign, a street sign saying stop, we all understand. That is the communication that it provides. Standardization provides that. Transfer of technology. Standards act as a good vehicle for technology transfer since standards incorporates the results of advances in science, technology, and experiences they reflect the state of the art in techno technical development. As standardization is a s dynamic process, it is not static. Standards are updated as new technologies are developed. And removal of trade barriers. Restrictions on the export of processes, products, or services by the introduction of some technical barriers to trade, such as arbitrary product requirements, are being viewed with great concern. Standards prevent such non-tariff barriers to trade by harmonizing requirements in a manner that products and pro products, pro processes and services promotes fair competition. Purchasers can now be convinced about the quality level of product, of a product that has been manufactured according to a recognized standard. When we take all of these aims of standardization, we see that they all aim at providing a level playing field at the end of the day. And so standards provides for a level playing field. Thank you.